When, as Omicron is being introduced and you hear people talking about it, Lara, what's your take on where we are and where we're going? Well, it's very simple, Pete, right? You just have to look at Africa. They didn't have the death rates from COVID that were predicted. And what is happening over time is that the entire response to COVID and everything that we were told about it from the beginning is being exposed and it's falling apart. The lies are coming apart. And really now there's no justification for putting people out of their jobs or forcing vaccine mandates for a disease that ultimately is very treatable. It's cheap to treat. Medicines are available all over the world, and it has death rates that compare very much to seasonal flu. And so in that moment, what you see on Dr. Fauci, this is what people say to me, that he doesn't represent science to them. He represents Joseph Mengele, Dr. Joseph Mengele, uh, the, doc, the Nazi doctor who did experiments on Jews during the Second World War and in the concentration camps. And I am talking about people all across the world are saying this because the response from COVID, what it has done to countries everywhere, what it has done to civil liberties, the suicide rates, the poverty, it has obliterated economies. The level of suffering that has been created because of this disease is now being seen in the cold light of day, i.e. the truth. And people see that there's no justification for what is being done. So as they're being exposed and the control is slipping away, Lo and behold, another variant surfaces, and nobody should be surprised by that because there will be more variants until the end of time. We'll never mm -hmm. be free of them. Well, you know, Will, uh, Joe Biden previously said no mandates, then there were mandates. Today he said we're not going to lock down when asked about it. What part of the track record of how they've handled it would lead us to believe that? Well, none of the track record, including the panic and fear porn over the weekend, Pete. Lara said that the COVID lies are being exposed. They're also attempting to be exploited. It's the same movie, the same franchise. This is Vin Diesel in Fast and Furious 9. <laughs> Would-be authoritarians, Dr. Anthony Fauci and Big Pharma, look to run this franchise into the ground because they've got a good thing going. They love to bring back all those same policies that you referenced, Pete. Here, something really quickly. Here is how off-base all the fear porn is, Pete. It's as likely, and you're right, you pointed it out in your great monologue, that we don't know much about Omicron. But it is as likely that Omicron is a good thing than something we should panic over. Respiratory viruses mutate, that's what they do, and they more often than not, not an ironclad, ironclad law, but more often than not, mutate into something more benign. And as you pointed out, in South Africa, it sounds very benign, does Omicron. So if we all get Omicron and achieve natural immunity, it can be a good thing.